What is up guys, my name is Aero, welcome back to Bear With Me Episode 1. Let's continue. We got absolutely nothing from that. Uh, I feel cheated. Oh, let's go check on Millie. Rusty said we should check on Millie from time to time. You alright Millie? You good? Need anything? Glass oh, of water? so nice to see you two working together again. True friendship is never... Okay, forget it. I'm going <laughs> back to the office. Mr. Bear, I know you wouldn't let Little Miss wander around alone. Now, would you? Maybe. Why? Is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Oh. Bear. Little Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now, you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out. Y yes, ma'am. Or else... Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Sure, gang up on me. <laughs> Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. Why, what were you doing before this retirement? Not like you had anything on your plate anyway. Okay, what's in I these bet boxes? It's full of diamonds. That's something one would have lying around in a cardboard box in the it's middle of the hallway, It's probably closed again. Right? Can I actually open you? I can't use that. I mean, you can use it. What do you mean you can't use it? Oh, right, we got a duster. So we can dust out the cobwebs. Ah, oh, hi, Rusty. How are you? Sleeping nicely over here. That's good to hear. All right, dust out those cobwebs. Oh, da, 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 da. Nice. Nice. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally. Yeah, you idiot. Sure, you would. Go. Oh, I'm playing as you now. Perfect. What am I gonna see? The case was spinning out of control so fast I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs I like this overnight. cartoon style. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Hmm. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? Yes. I mean, no. According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, He's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow it's connected got to my to retirement. Be. The fires and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. Yeah, why is this? Like, I he wanted to know about her also. To all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years. We've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole of the city. Hmm. This bond I That's have cool looking. will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Dun dun. Law and order. Whoa, who, uh, the mugshot brothers. They're rabbits. A level six sword. Perfect. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. Yeah, okay. Got the references. Good. Close, close, close. Nice angle of the lamp, by the way, boys. Uh, rope. Okay. Let's talk to you guys first. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? <laughs> Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it. It depends. 
Depends on what. If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter, didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? Uh -huh. But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> What? This is going nowhere. If you want to Doug's Dimdale from Dimsdale Dimdum? Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? <laughs> Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get together might turn out ugly for you, too. Uh, where is Flint? That's a good Where one. is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? I have these two tickets. I'm starting a barbershop quartet. I've got this. Of, I got two no, tickets. No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on Ice. Oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are <laughs> overwhelmingly positive. Shut up, John. John, he's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. <laughs> hmm, your story checks out. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Uh, the Reef King? Tell me what you know, and the next time the Reef King asks me about you two, I'll forget about your whereabouts. We sorted it out with the shark, Snoop. We started a nice little enterprise with them. See, me and John John here have a way with the tourists. The deal is to take them on a nice little tour around our beautiful city that ends in his gambling house. <laughs> there are numerous attractive locations scattered throughout the city, but sometimes you just have to go that extra mile if you want to experience it the way the locals do. For instance, there's a lovely little deli store just off of Peril Street, halfway down to the harbor. Their Madelines are to <laughs> die for. Just pick a spot on the He's my favorite character so far. and enjoy a good book or a romantic evening with that special someone. Yeah, see? That's right, John John. Huh. I bet whatever they keep in that wall. I don't know why, but that one reminds me of Kronk. Clean them out when they leave. Am I right? Well, yeah, but that's just his style, see? I bet it is. Uh, why are you here? So, why are you here exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you There's a hell of chop. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus. How about you take a long walk down the shore pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. It's What's too hell of like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way. I wasn't paying attention. What happened? I was looking at the hella choppers. Not that would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. <laughs> Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him Are in you a while. supposed to be You're saying he knows something? It, like it's mafia? worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Why'd you escape? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great <laughs> news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing <laughs> Oh, I get it. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Yep, Forget that's it. Kronk. That is crunk. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. 
It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? You remember he's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure, I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much, and the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city, wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the Kronk, sands of time. you're getting a bit time. deep over there. What? I don't like it. What the hell it. are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Mm. <laughs> well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? Yeah. You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. <laughs> One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing. There you go. Now, don't go telling oh, people we key? never helped you. It's like we're partners now. See? Sure. What's the we'll red have to find another way. You know, you can just try climbing. You know that, right? The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. Candy bag, get some Art candy. Show on the outside, sweet on the inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? <laughs> Random papers. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? No, nah, I think it's probably going for the uh, the waste paper basket. You know. Um. Okay. What about the rope? It looks highly cuttable. Is that a word? Cuttable? So we can cut it is what you're saying. I am so sorry, but I get the red cloth now. I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Hmm. Okay. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. Small cabinet. It's got drawers. I guess the logical thing to do here would be to search the drawers for clues. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I have my reasons. Best detective ever. It's an accordion. All right, let's go back to the study. Hello. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they mm, totally just found <laughs> lying on the floor. We should start there then. Such well, what's that key ideas. for? You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. What's that key for? We'll have to find another way. Uh, fine. Maybe we get like a ladder or something. Nothing happening, nothing changed. That shadow keeps looks like it changed. I don't know, man. Uh let's no. Let's go back and make sure Millie's okay. And ask her about the red cloth that we picked up. And we'll have a good time. Hi, Millie. How are you? Millie, we found this piece of red cloth in Flint's room. We thought you could tell us something more about it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't recognize this particular fabric. But by the feel of it, it feels like a firefighter's uniform. Fire? I'm sorry, but that's as much as I can tell. A firefighter's uniform? This is getting stranger by the minute. What do you make of this doll? I honestly don't know, Ted. I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please don't get your parents involved again. I yeah. suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. CBG? Colorful big giant. 
Okay, let's go into the parents' room. Ah, that other key is probably for the clock. Probably. Probably. It's Ooh. unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. <laughs> Hope we don't see things that need not be seen. Why? <laughs> <My cre> <laughs> I was about to say, why is there a creepy painting? And it literally says creepy, dude. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, let's get the camera first. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. Hmm. Yes, kids. Before cameras were digital, there was where film. else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? Yet there's high there. I bet they make there. fun of short heels all the time. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. My parents' bed. It's so big and comfy. My bed is like sleeping on a pile of rocks. Well, not really. It's really soft and fluffy, but this one's better. Why is there a plastic wrap it's with only a tie? Wrap for your clothes, for some reason. An armoire. That's fancy talk for closet. Can you not open it, please? No. Okay. It's a decorative curtain. It's so old it was used as a tunic. My Caesar's <laughs> accountant. Do we have a duster still? Yeah, we do. We do. I don't think so. No, we can't. We can't. Okay, let's go over here. Let's get the hairbrush, no? For combing your hair. I like my hair more au naturel. You mean, you don't brush it <laughs> and just wear it whatever way it was when you woke up? Yep, that's the idea. Uh, let's check this creepy painting dude. of some guy. Let's name him Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room if he had any. Oh, Jeffrey. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Jeffrey. Some weird plant is sticking out. Why of are you here? <laughs> it changed to Jeffrey creepy face. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. Are you gonna swing off of it? No. What is in the dart? Excuse me. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, dark room for the uh, for the film. Mm -hmm. Is it red? Please tell me it's red. Eh, it's got a red hue to it. That's fine. Um, there's a safe. One o seven. One o. Oh, the game just froze. Why the game just froze? Up oh, there we go. One oh seven. There we go. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mister. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. I'll take them with me. So we do into the containers. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. It's called we can get it a from film. that machine over there. You know how to use that thing. Not yet, but I was voted most likely to figure stuff out in my school once. What this machine? Nothing happened. There's something missing. Okay, so we need uh, something photo developing stuff. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Oh, if I had done this in real life, I would have known what just to do. Just some canisters filled with some unidentified liquids. Okay, let's just take the film, put it there. Ah, okay. Nothing happened. There's something missing. Okay. It's some enlarger thingy. My dad explained it to me, but I might have fallen asleep while standing that, up. That's very that's helpful. That's how boring that was. Thanks. Okay, so I don't have it anymore. Uh, duct tape. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. What? No, I was thinking try to use it here. Do what with it? I don't know to do what with it. 
big ass bottles. Big bottles. Just a bunch of bottles. Two to be exact. Nothing interesting about them. What me do, please? Extremely breakable, especially when thrown or dropped against a hard surface. Don't throw stuff. A book titled Developing for Dummies. I could use that right now. The developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. I could use that. Uh, roll of I film. bet it's filled with boring landscapes. That's the only thing my dad takes pictures of. What me do? What me do? It has measuring units on the side. Not that I would know anything about that. I'm ten after all. A pipe? It's just a tap. Uh, uh, what did we do? A washbowl. Uh, 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 latent images. Can we put it there? And now switch it on? There. Is it over? Is that it? Okay. Same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I didn't know. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. Ooh. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find Mom and Dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. We found a piece of his robe earlier and now this photo. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. What? Um, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie and see if she can tell us something about the fabric. Yeah, you're right. But we did. We, we win. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing <laughs> photos. All right, so we wait. Tick tock, tick tock. So, have you been lately? Tick tock, tick tock, 25 years later. Um. I'm Redman? I'm I'm red man. Why am I red man? Oh no, do we have to attack Millie? Oh god. Oh we have to attack Millie. Oh no. Why do we have to attack can we leave? Yes, we can leave. Okay. Why do we have... Why? 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 I don't... Why games? Why the games I play do this to me? I get judged. Oh god, is she dead? Oh no. <laughs> Not again. Oh no. The window's open. Oh no, Ted, it's Millie. Damn it. Why would somebody do this? She was just a sweet old woman. She hasn't done nothing wrong to anyone. Oh. It's not my fault. That was the only was thing. Almost as long as. Me, yeah, I know. Doll, what do you think we should do now? I honestly don't know. Ted, I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find mom and dad. That is brutal. Whoever this red man is, he's done I mean, I know it's a stuffed animal, Please, but that's don't brutal. don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Again? What do you mean? What? I, I don't know. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah. Good idea. Let's head out. Poor Millie. This is our fault, you know. Yeah, yeah, we told know, Rusty we'd okay. keep an eye out, and now she's dead. We've let her down. Hey, this is not your fault. That red freak did this. Believe me when I say this, doll. You can't Just save the fact all that the it time. made People me die. do That's it. That's just how the dice roll. 
All you can do at times like these is keep your head up, think of the fond memories you have of her, and just keep going. We'll get that red bastard sooner or later. That's my promise to you. I know, it's just... It's sad, I know, but life gets sad sometimes. You just have to pull through. Happiness will find you again. Now let's go. We've still got a case to solve, and somebody's got to pay for this. <sighs> oh, a nail. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. And the wood. Don't forget the wood. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach. Ooh, can I get that key now? How do I craft? Let's go in the study. You did absolutely nothing, Rusty. I mean, I know you switched off, but... That, that not point. That not point. Do what with it? Sorry, other way around? Are you even... No, I'm not. Can I reach? Do what with it? Reach, damn it, reach. Um... I can't use... I don't this know. This won't man. work. Ah. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Are you e So I need to find another plank? Is that what I'm doing? Is there another plank? <laughs> Millie is dead. No point in dragging her around. It's also disrespectful. I'll come back after all this is over and bury her back in the yard, underneath the pines. It's the most peaceful place in the world. Uh, anything I'm missing? Ted, what do you say about all of this? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it, and I'm proud. <laughs> Not really. Uh Are you eat Oh, can't do nothing. All right. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's stairs. Wait. Such an amazing piece of woodwork. The amazing stairs, everybody. Gather round, young and old. Witness this new technological marvel. Why can I not go up the stairs though? Uh, can we wake you up? No. Mm. I can see the tree outside our house. It's a willow tree. I know this because two years ago at the hospital, my mom told the doctor I fell from a willow tree. It okay, was that one. let me figure this out. What can I do? What can I do? Can I break this glass with the plank or the sword? Ooh, the sword. Yeah. Are you even trying? No. Okay, not the sword. Plank. I can't use that. No. Duct tape. Do what with it? I don't know. Do something. Nail? Oh! Oh! How worked. does that- You've just what? unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Right? Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it what? won't. My genius knows no bounds. You can just smash the glass! Hook thingy? Alright. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful, like, really soon. So can I put that on the wood then? This won't hold on its own. Ah, and then the duct tape. Alright. There. Now I can have higher aspirations. Okay, now we can go get that key. Probably. Can we not get the key? Well, I didn't try yet. <laughs> can we not get that key? Can we get it? Yeah, we can get it. I'll yeah. Take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. Okay, what key is that though? Because we haven't really seen anything else that needs. 
Can we open up Flint's room? So she can get in, maybe ask some questions? Um, key... Office desk key? Do what with it? What office desk key? Oh, I didn't even notice this! Oh, there's an attic door! Yo, the light blended it in so good! I only noticed it because I went in my inventory. Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Well, one of them's dumb, so... Wise guys. Reasoning with One's a wise guy, the other one's crunk. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous. I mean, more than usual. They did actually seem nervous. That's weird. We found some clues around the house that could help us... Oh, for a second I thought so that was a bag of blood. I've examined the evidence myself but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing. But the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black. Ooh. We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. Unfortunately, we were too late. He makes it sound Sad so it cool. To Millie, and Amber really lost it for a moment. I did all I could and gave her a promise that I'd catch the man responsible. It's not much, but it's the least. He I makes could it do. sound so cool. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there. Like, this is one of the reasons why I like detective things. Red, it seems to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. This is so cool. This is so cool. I cannot tell you how cool this actually is. Who are you, Brian? City limits? Sotp? Not even stop, Sotp. Horsey, attic stuff. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. We've done quite a bit. Let's start a new save. Because gamers always know don't save on top of all saves in case that old save goes missing. Trust me, I've had it happen to me before. But thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this so far, Give this video a like down below, it feels like episode 1 could go on for a long time, unless this just flows into episode 2, and then into episode 3, but for now I'll leave it here, so thank you so much for watching, and as always, until next time, game on.